Boom! Welcome to Perian Flax's guide to playing Dota 2. Uh, I consider myself one of the preeminent experts uh, in Dota 2. I've uh, I've been playing it for about three months, so uh, you know I know pretty much everything there is to need to know about Dota 2 because uh, that's bullshit. It's it's a nightmare this game. If you have never played Dota 2, you will need some friends to play it with, but don't play it with like good friends, because as soon as you start playing Dota 2, you'll hate each other, and if you're if you're the newest, shittest player, you'll be the one they hate the most. You, you will feel like the dunce sat in the corner knowing absolutely fuck all about how to play Dota 2, and generally speaking, you, you do know nothing. You know nothing about Dota 2. I've been playing, like I said, for about three months. Uh, I still barely know any of the heroes, like I still have to rely on uh, like shorthand for for who they are. Like I, I'm, you know, at side. You got sideburns, dude. You got party hat skeleton guy, uh, beardy guy, uh, sea lizard, uh, no face dude from Hellraiser, the dude from Big Trouble in Little China, Satan, fat Cockney. Um, I don't know who the fuck I forgot. I drew that here, man. I've forgotten who the fuck he is. Uh, Swedish chef. Lich! I know Lich because he's basically all I play. Juggernaut and um, Scorpion Party Hat Dude. And then after that, I have no fucking idea. Uh, this is pretty much what you'll see when you play uh, Dota 2. You've got, you've got a path, you've got some, uh, some dudes who run up and down, uh, then, and then you've got, uh, you've got trees and you've got towers. Towers? Here's, let's talk about towers. Towers are important. Everybody talks about towers, you've got to, you're meant to push towers. What that means is you can blow them up. But for some reason, you'll find they're often covered in spiders. I don't know why, but those spiders uh, are obsessed with towers and trees. Mo little moving trees. Obsessed. They're obsessed with towers. You'll always see them clustered around, banging on them. And then you've got, you've got these guys, creeps. These are called creeps. And they've got a really jazzy way of running. Not to be, not to be confused with the Swedish uh, band, the creeps. These, these creeps are different. They've got a... Uh, They've got money in their pockets, you bash them and they drop the money. And look at this guy. This guy's called, uh, this guy's Roshan. People will talk about Roshan. We've got to do Roche. They're doing Roche. Somebody check Roche. Ward Roche. None of that will mean anything to you ever. Uh, don't worry about him. He just, he, just, he just chills. He's just, he's pretty chill dude. Hangs out in his cave. So that's it. You've got towers, you've got creeps, you've got Roche. What more do you need to know? If you're new, bear this in mind. If you see one of these three dudes, just abandon the game because someone, if, if they didn't random them, they must know what they're doing. This guy is called Pugna, right? You will never see anybody pick Pugna that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Just like this guy, right? Necrolite. If somebody picks Necrolite, get the fuck out because they must know what they're doing. And he's also got a look at these guys' popped collars. You got if they have a popped collar, you're probably gonna die, right? That's like the shorthand. And finally, this dude. This is this is Dark Seer. He's fucking terrifying. If you, if you see someone picking Dark Seer, you need to run like hell. Uh, and then, these are the two guys you'll see a lot of the time. You'll see pubs playing these two guys. This is Pudge and uh, Ricky, okay? Pudge is like a big fat cockney pedophile. He hangs out in the bushes. He pulls people into the bushes and makes them smell his disgusting stink, all right? That, if that's not revolting enough, bear in mind that he can do it to his own players. It's disgusting. And then you've got Ricky. And Ricky is, like Pudge, he's one of these players that most people that play him don't know how to play him, so, but some, some people really do know how to play him. So if you run into a, a really good Pudge or a really good Ricky, you're in big trouble, right? But you probably won't, because puppies just pick these guys and don't know what the fuck they're doing. Look, like this guy. This is Nature's Prophet, right? He is the most annoying character in the entire game because if someone on your team plays him badly, your whole team is fucked. And if someone on the other team plays him well, your whole team is fucked. Uh, there are some uh, some things I can tell you for sure. Okay, this is what this is this is a ward. The thing on the left that looks like a bunch of eyeballs, that's called a ward. And the thing on the right that looks like a giant eyeball, that's where you put the ward. You put the ward on the eyeball. It's that simple. And look, that's the map, right? There's a spot on the map where there's a river and some cliffs and an eyeball. Just put the ward on the eyeball. Done. But. And this is the problem with Dota. Sometimes people will ping and say, you shouldn't put the ward there, you idiot. After 14 minutes with a, with a Pugna and a tri-lane and this, you've got to put the ward there. And you'll say, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know. 
because this is the problem with Dota 2. Look at this. This is a, the, the cockpit of an F-16. This is a, a to scale, perfectly 100% accurate drawing of the cockpit of an F-16. The problem with Dota 2 is it's like learning to fly an F-16. There's a ton of controls, and people say, it's all right, it's all right, you can ignore most of them. You just, you see the thing in the middle of the joystick, you just use the joystick and make sure you don't go below 10,000 feet, and we're fine. You go, okay, yeah, great. But imagine that the guy behind you who's teaching you how to fly, the moment you get off airborne, he starts punching you in the back of the head. And the whole time he's hitting you, he's saying, you should have done this to your trim, and what happened to you, why didn't you do that, and your fuel is, and why aren't you getting this while he's punching you in the head? And this is the central problem with Dota 2, is the fucking complexity. There are, there are at the time of, uh, of, of this, now, you could say, the, or what, now for me, not now for you now, but now for me, okay? There are 83 heroes in the game. 83! Each having roughly four spells, some more, some less, and there are around 200 items. And those items change the spells, and they change the characters, and they give them more of this and less of that. That's... Look at this, Matt. 83 times... 252 combinations of heroes and spells, okay? So, uh, that, that sort of makes sense in my head anyway. But you've got to multiply that by a Rubik, okay? Because Rubik can steal spells and stuff, and so he can have anything. And then you've got to multiply that by an Invoker. And an Invoker has got, like, a thousand spells, and they all do crazy stuff. So, who the fuck knows? I mean, so, people will tell you it's really easy. All you have to do is buy a Tango and a Branch and Clarity Potion and Boots, and that's it. That's you set. But you see that those four items? Okay, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Look at all these fucking items. And you might have to buy them, and they're all, you know, depending. Why would you buy a Bloodstone when you should have bought a Helm of the Dominator? Of, oh, if you've got so-and-so laying against you, and we, oh, you haven't pushed any towels, we've got no carry, then you should know what fucking item to buy, and you'll have to memorize it, and you'll have to, you'll be alt-tabbing out of the game to go to a Dota guide. Oh, what fucking item do I buy on, uh, on Dark Sea if I've got 1,500? Oh, too late, I'm dead. And while you're standing there, people will be pinging you, ping, 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 ping. This, I mean, the, you know, if you, for an example, okay, this is the, this is the, uh, the armlet. People call it the armlet. It's a glove, but it's Mordeguinen's or something like that armlet, right? People tell you get armlet, and you get the armlet. But what you don't know is you have to push a button to make it clench its fist, and you have to push a button to make it unclench its fist, and that's like another button to push. And most people will tell you what you can't handle another button. No, no. I can't handle another button. I've got three buttons on one hand and uh, and the mouse in the other. I can't handle another button. Don't give me more buttons. I want less buttons. So people will tell you armlet is a good thing to get, but don't get it. It's just more buttons. And Dota 2 essentially is a black hole and it sucks in all your time and all your energy and, uh, and any chance you ever had of seeing a pair of human tits ever again is gone because of Dota 2. Stay away. Stay away. If, you, if you're thinking of playing Dota 2, feed yourself into a fucking meat grinder and just feast on the hate burgers that will be produced by your minced body.